So today I am at Value Village and I am going to see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. Or bring to a whatnot sale or possibly keep for myself. So let's go on in and check it out. I forgot my reusable bags. <laughs> All right, we will check out the knickknacks. This is now the knickknack section. It's changed. Who's this lady? She is a Holland mold. $5.99. She's a hobby piece. Nicely done. Let's take a quick look on this end cap. Not seeing anything here. There's a carved elephant for $3.99. Is he broken? It's broken. It's quite weighty. Oh, this is so kitschy. A part of me wants to grab this because it's so kitschy, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it. There's some bookends. Holy Moses, those are heavy. How much do they want for them? I don't know, but they're way too heavy. I can't even lift those. Oh, <laughs> I was just saying that I had sold a bud vase with the butterfly on it, just like this. This one's $2.99. I think a little bit more than I would want to spend on it, but I did sell one just like it. I think it might have actually been a little bit bigger. And I have sold salt and pepper shakers. These exact same ones but there's no no salt it is made in mexico four dollars it's chipped that's kind of fun it's not vintage but it's kind of fun of shells. It's a shell mobile for $14.99. Some nail tips. A wood bowl. Oh, poodle. Oh, kitschy poodle. Six dollars. Seven dollars. Mm. Let's see what kind of condition are you in. Looks like it's in relatively good condition. So do I want to pay $7 for it? You know what? I think I do because I know that it is worth definitely way more than $7. So I will grab it. These pieces are made in Cuba, I think. It's a little felt box. Mm. All right, I don't think there's anything else here in this knickknack section. There's a horse, but he is missing an ear. Well, we found a kitschy poodle. This little one's cute. Music box. Is that Yadro? I do not think so. Nope, made in China. You can just tell by looking at it. It doesn't have a cool 
quality to it. All right, I'm gonna move along to the next section. Well, they totally changed this around. Now this is the collectibles on the opposite side. That's $15 for six of these and they're really lightweight. Not a nice quality. 20 for this, this looks like German. Western Germany. It is really nice, but I don't want to pay 20 for it. I'm sure it's worth a lot more than 20, but I just don't feel like investing $20 into it. These are fun. That's Lucite. Collector's plates. Oh, I just picked one of these up. Four dollars. I think I will grab that one for four dollars. Needs to be cleaned. Those are good sellers. They sell fairly quickly if you price them right. <laughs> That's cute. $6.99 for three. They would have had little cups with them. Where are they? Oh, made in Japan. That's a pretty vase. Made in Japan. $10 though. It's really pretty. I'm surprised it's not all chipped up. Some chalkware. $3.99, very chipped. And these are kind of chippy, $7, and they're matte finish. They're not a very nice finish. $19.99 for those two bookends. Boy, <laughs> million dollars to ship those. $5.99 for that little Japan trinket dish. favorite Kimberly mugs. I love Kimberly mugs. $4.99 though and there's some wear on this one. This color is not super popular. Those are nice. $10. And there's a bunch of Fire King ones here but they're all really faded. And then they want $14.99 for I think those five. $4.99 for this one. It's a bit faded, and this one's really faded. Okay, twenty dollars. Oh. I don't even know if I could get twenty dollars for this. Maybe. Fifty dollars for this set. Who is this? France? Is this Arkarok? Ar I, I can't make it out. I think it's probably made in France. Really nice silver overlay. Whoa, bowl. But it is $25. 19 for this one. What is that? Brody USA. This, I like the the base of it. It's always good to check the planters because some of them could be worth money even if they've got you know stuff inside of them they could be inside a really nice planter that's worth something. Is that a clamshell? There's a vintage corsage. This piece, I think that is newer. What is that? It's new, newish. I always look in here too because sometimes things are hidden in here that are worth finding. Not today. Vases. I 
on this pottery piece. Newer. Some shiny swans, $6.99 each. That's got a very art deco or art nouveau look to it, but it's not that old. Probably 1980s. Thought maybe that was Raku, but I don't think so. Don't need any bath accessories. But I always like to check this section because sometimes you can find nice vintage hand mirrors, vanity sets, vegan friendly hand cream collection, shea butter. Hmm. Five dollars though. I don't need any hand cream. Some more vases. Modern. That is likely made in China. Oh, here's a Bohemia Glam, Czechoslovakia vase. Holy man, that's heavy. That's like a, it feels like it's 10 pounds. $14. Hmm. I'm going to put it in my cart and I'm going to look it up and see if it's worth picking up. I would say that it's worth definitely way more than $14. So it's super heavy though. Wowzers. All right, the candle holders. Everything's all moved around here. <laughs> it's, it's actually way better. It's way more organized. That's party light. I like it. This is likely made for Ikea. I have sold those turquoise ones. Not really seeing any too spectacular. All right, we've got some baskets. Sewing basket $8.99. It's not too bad, it's fairly clean. I don't see any broken pieces. Nice green. I'll put it in my cart. I'll analyze it at the end. This one is kind of rough shape. Okay, that's it for the baskets. Okay, we've got metal decor now. And we have got a brass parrot. Ten dollars. Hmm. Is it gonna come off of that or it's kinda cool.
interesting piece. Just a little bit of wear there. It's brass and copper, which I like the mixed metals. $10. Um, I'm gonna put it in my cart and look at it over, look it over a little bit better just to make sure it's in decent condition for that price. All right, we are in the serving accessories. That is newer. The brass napkin holder. These are modern. Piece of pottery for $9.99. That's a cute little creamer. Made in Germany. Four dollars. Hmm. I'm gonna put this in my cart and look it up. Just gonna skim through the cream and sugar section. That's cute. Whoa, that's really cute. <laughs> B plate. It's really heavy. Route 66. Those are newer. Kind of fun though. Mustard and ketchup. Six dollars though. much over here. Take a quick look at the glassware. These are nice big glasses, blown glass, probably Mexican glass. Six dollars for the pair. And music's a little bit loud over here. Some Pyrex, $5.99 for six. Saskatchewan Mining Develop Development Corporation. Hmm. Those are a little too specific. Those are built ins made in England. There's just three of them there. see these in the thrift stores. Very, very, very common. These are new. It says 1977, but that's when the company was founded. But they're definitely newer. They're not the old enamelware. What is this? Some um, boot. You can drink Baileys from a boot or a shoe. <laughs> uh, it's a Hawaiian mug, really worn. Yeah, not really seeing any mugs here. Too terribly interested in. Right, we got some dinnerware. Got some green bottles. These are McGuinness, made in Canada. Hmm. $2.99. It's got its original stopper. There's another one there, but got a different, more of a cork. It's not as interesting. This one's made in Canada. This one might be older, maybe, I don't know. 
They're only $2.99. Some leather wrap bottles. $10 for those. Vintage wood. What is that called again? I can't remember. Uh, ice bucket. Yeah, that's it. I like this one that, because it's got the glass stopper. It's only $3. Put it in the cart. Else here? It's a whole set. I don't know what that says. It's like it's probably like gold guild. Very 1980s, 90s maybe. Some nice little pottery bowls. So. Oh. I looked this up and I did find one on eBay and it was listed for $8.99. I don't know how old it is. And I think I'm going to leave it for $4. Mm -hmm. um, I think I might also leave this. I don't know. I'm still debating whether or not I want to take that. And she just pulled out a new cart so I'm going to go have a peek. much over here but I'm gonna go check the collectibles again because maybe she put out some new knickknacks so this wasn't here before $7.99 honestly I just want this stopper <laughs> I don't know if this stopper actually goes with this bottle well maybe it does I don't know, for some reason it doesn't look the same. Maybe it is, but I don't know. I'm not paying $7.99 for it. These are new. Little piggies with butterflies on them. Oh, they are souvenir pieces and they're $5. So these are all the items that I'm going to take with me. I'm going to take this sewing basket for $8.99, the mirror tray for $3.99, spaghetti poodle for $6.99, the brass parrot for $9.99, and the bohemia glass for $13.99. Now these are a little bit more than I would like to spend on these items, but I think they are worth it to pay up for them. So most of these will be listed in my Etsy shop. With the exception of the poodle, I might put that in a whatnot sale. So I'll meet you in the car with the total. My total was $46.15. And I am now on my way to the other Value Village location. So stay tuned for that. That'll be in the next video. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment down below. And until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.